This video was a request from a commenter. So this is number one to impress upon you that I am highly sought after and in demand for my valuable thoughts on a smattering of subjects. But also to let you know that if you have a cool video idea then you can let me know in a comment or on Discord. And uh, I will gladly add it to my long list of videos to make. Uh, this one is an interesting one because it's so inconceivable to our idea of the game of Pokemon. Because, you know, what's one of the most fundamental things about Pokemon? That critical hits suck, right? And uh, in Gens 2 through 6, it, they sit at a rate, a fixed rate, of 1 in 16. You know, barring, you know, things like Focus Energy and, um, not, well, not Sniper, it's the other one, Super Luck. Uh, or high crit moves like Stone Edge and Night Slash. You know, those like up it a little bit, but by and large, it's 1 in 16, right? And then in Gen 7, they uh, lower it to 1 in 24, which is a great change. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone prefers the Gen 7 mechanics of uh, crits the most uh, because it's the lowest chance. And they also have the change that was made in Gen 6, which is that crits no longer did double damage. They, did, uh, they gave a 50% boost. So, you know, lowest odds, lowest damage, Gen 7 and onwards, everyone loves those uh, mechanics. Now, but however, even the double damage 6% crit gens, they really make you uh, thankful that they exist like that and not the way they do in Gen 1. Because in Gen 1, it's based on your base speed stat. And, and that's not even the worst of it. It's even worse that uh, the way the formula works, you have to be literally like the slowest Pokemon in the game in order to have a crit rate lower than that of uh, the Gens 2 and, um, two, and uh, 2 through 6. Yeah. See, so since, since that's 6.25%, right? And in... Uh, in you see here that Lickitung, Parasect, Slowbro, Snorlax, Slowbro, Snorlax being the most relevant ones, they still have a crit rate of almost 6%, and they are the slowest things in the game. You know, and... I mean, I'm not saying that these other Pokemon low on the list crit, like, often, but they crit more often than they would, you know, if they had the fixed 6%, which is absolutely nuts. Uh, so, especially because if it's a good Pokemon then they're going to have multiple odds to crit. And this is why people complain about crits in um, in all sorts of gens, because Pokemon that attack a lot have more chances to crit. And, 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 and here's the biggest part. Here's why it would be absolute lunacy. Uh, in Gen 1, then crit mechanics are by and large, ba by and large, balanced out by the fact that the Pokemon attacking and critting are not that strong, right? You know, because everything has uh, maxed out EVs, so there's a lot of bulk. You know, there's not a ton of uh, base high base power moves. You know, the high base power moves generally have lots of risk. You know, your hyper beams, your explosions. Uh, lots of normal type coverage uh, being thrown around. Lots of neutral coverage. And so, the not to say that there aren't super effective hits and hits that uh, Pokemon that hit hard. You know, you've got your Blizzard and uh, Psychic and Earthquake, and Earthquake is most dangerous when coming from Rhydon, who has a huge attack that hits really hard. Of course, there's like good damage, but it's nothing compared to uh, even Gen 2, where everything is stronger. You know, there's more, uh, there's higher base power moves, there's stronger Pokemon, there's more passive damage accentuating these hits. That's really big. And there are less boosting options. That's absolutely huge as well. Boosting options both in terms of moves. Like in Gen 1, like barely anything gets Swords Dance. And that's pretty much it. You have Amnesia for some special pokes. But that's also very minimally distributed. Uh, and there are of course no held items in Gen 1. So you can't power yourself up more with Choice Band. Or Life Orb or whatever. Uh, so... And of course, later gens also have leftovers and things like that uh, to try and balance it out. But with the power creep, then that's more a uh, let's try and keep up as opposed to, oh, th that evens it out. So uh, I'm sure some people would like RBY crits in that because if you hate Regenerator, if you're one of those people, 
then RBY crits would make it a lot easier to break through regenerator spamming stuff. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, it would it would be complete chaos. Like uh, on the screen right now, we have a Blissey, right? So let's take I don't know Blissey's base speed off the top of my head. I think it's fifty five. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's the same as Machamp, yeah. Okay, so uh, Blissey has... If we're going off the RBY mechanics, then Blissey has Machamp's crit rate, and Machamp's crit rate is... Did I... Oh, it's the dimensions. Yeah, Machamp's crit rate, as you see here... Executor, Machamp, Omastar, they have a crit rate of 10.74%. Yeah, so even something as slow as Blissey has a crit rate that high. And just consider how most Pokemon are not as slow as Blissey. Uh, it's... So, like, even something with, let's say, average speed, like Suicune, you know, is going to be crit... I mean, look, well, there's a crit right there, great timing. But just think about how much everything crits and how chaotic that is when there's so much more power creep. Like, even defensive Pokemon with little speed, with uh, low base speed. You know, like, not every crit is going to be game-breaking, obviously. Like, if a Skarmory Brave Birds, chances are it's not going to destroy everything. But, uh, just the fact that... Well, I mean, I'm uh, trying not to repeat myself as much these days. But yeah, that's, uh, did that just crit? Yeah, it did just crit, it crit the clay doll. Uh, <laughs> so you see like here within this game that was two crits and how many turns uh, and that happens a lot because you know good players find ways to attack a lot not just fishing for crits I'm not saying that good players are good because they give themselves chances to crit you know that's part of it but they're executing their strategy and by virtue of e executing their aggressive strategy to break the opponent down by dealing as much damage as possible then they tend to get crits as a byproduct which makes their strategy even more efficient but uh, that becomes a lot more dangerous in every other generation, uh, starting with Gen 2, just because of the higher damage being dealt, you know, all the new Pokemon that are being added with the high crit rates, you know, the passive damage. You know, like switching into uh, Pokemon in, in, in something as early as Gen 3 uh, with Sand and Spikes is already, you know, nightmarish, and now you add very very decent crit rates you know most of these pokemon are going to have more than double the crit rate of what they would have in uh gen one or sorry uh in uh the gens two through six where it's uh that 6.25 like yeah oh wow actually it's uh as low as base 65 is already roughly double so you see base 65 here uh, so you already have more than roughly twice as much, you know, Pokemon here like uh, Vaporeon. They already have roughly double what they would have, and everything else is just running away with it. So like Skarmory, you know, 13%. That's absolutely insane. And, you know, think about how fast, uh, how every generation isn't just stronger and stronger, uh, in terms of base power and the moves added and, you know, the Pokemon and the boosting options, all that stuff. Think about how fast the new Pokemon are in general. So, like, uh, let's look at those crit rates from the Defining Speedsters of Gen 1. And note that there are few of them. You know, so you've got the... Let's leave Electrode out. Actually, I know they're, like, base 145. I think, isn't Dragapult, like, 145 or something insane? So let's just ignore, well, okay, we won't ignore it. The fact that Dragapult's going to have a near 30% crit rate. Let's just go with the more generally accessible, you know, relatively, uh, aspect or uh, area of Aerodactyl, Jolteon, Mewtwo, right? Because Jolteon gets OU play, so that's the one that, in RBY, uh, so that's the one that generally gets seen the most as reasonable, right? 25%, you know, 1 in 4, that's absolutely nuts, and then we go a little lower, because obviously not everything is going to be base 130, even in newer generations. You know, pu putting aside that this is in Gen 1 where the power level is a lot lower. You know, because even in Gen 2, at least, you know, I think Gen 2 would still be crazy, because at least everything still has maxed out bulk. But, I mean, you start throwing spikes in there, and, you know, how dangerous Zapdos is. What's Zapdos' crit rate again? It's, uh, base 100. Yeah, almost 20%. You want to play GSC Zapdos? With a twenty percent, near twenty percent crit rate, yeah, that sounds really fun. Uh, uh, 
Have fun countering that with your Snorlax, with spikes down. With <laughs> Even Raikou's not going to like doing that. At le- hey, at least Raikou responds with a faster crit rate. And generally, the strategy in RBY is not to respond with a faster crit rate. Uh, I'm just, you know, glad that putting a choice scarf, that is base speed, so, you know, you can't agility or dragon dance or put a choice scarf on and make your crit rate even higher. Yeah, small cover. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's, Gen 1 does not really devolve into who has the faster crit rate for uh, the reasons it's balanced. But in, uh, I think in offensive slugfests where it's just trading Pokemon constantly, then it becomes even more difficult. Because a lot of times you'll have games where you can, uh, like let's take a Gen 5 Ubers example, where your Genesect, your Scarf Genesect can switch into Latios Draco Meteor once, and that's all you needed to. You can't afford to sacrifice the Latios early in the game, but you can switch in once and force it out, right? Well, that's nice, but Latios also has a crit rate of roughly 21%, and uh, so that's just not going to work anymore, because a crit Draco will of course KO Genesect. So, something like that is absolutely nuts. Uh, the base 115s are, of course, I think they're at 20. Yeah, they're at 22. Zam is at 23, which is absolutely insane. I mean, Zam gets so much better in GSC. <laughs> I mean, even things like Espeon. Um, oh, yeah. Gen, I guess the one good thing about Gen 1 crits is that if we're going to implement the mechanic uh, completely faithfully, then Gen 1 crits also do not take boosts into account. So this means if you... I uh, let's say swords dance with your Kingler, right? And you use Hyper Beam. Um, then that will not be, and and you get a crit. Then you are not going to be hitting your opponent with uh, with a plus two Hyper Beam that also crits. You are basically hitting the opponent with an unboosted crit. Okay, so that at least has some balance to it. Uh, it's that's actually kind of nice, you know. You can if you get crit by a Dragon Dancer, then it's like getting crit by an unboosted Pokemon. That might be the saving grace. That might because I mean the instant idea for what if Gen One crits were in other generations is that it so fundamentally alters the fabric of the game that you would have people crying to you know change the mechanics just so we can play this game at all competitively, but. I, I do kind of like that, uh, I don't know if it would be enough, but it is nice that, you know, if you boost and you crit, you get the crit from the unboosted stat. That is nice. And of course, you know, then uh, you realize you don't really have to boost that much if you're critting so easily with everything. Um, yeah, which, which is, you know, insane to think about. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so... Let's look at some more modern generation examples. Uh, I guess, I wonder how that would work with choice items. Because choice items, you know, they're, you're not, um... Because the way, I think that if you had a choice item, you would still get the boost. Because that's your attack stat. Uh, it, fun, it, it fundamentally changes your attack stat as opposed to just applying, applying a plus one. And, uh where I'm taking this from, feel free to correct me if I'm, uh, if I'm wrong, but in Generation 3, for example, this is a very common one, if Choice Band Metagross, uh, let's say Choice Band Metagross, right, that's plus one to its attack, and it gets a Meteor Mash boost, right? Well, it doesn't, uh, that does not just mean, oh, it had plus one, now it has plus two, because that plus one Meteor Mash boost is applied to its uh, attack stat that it had already, and that attacks that was boosted by Choice Band. So, really, a plus one uh, Choice Band uh, Metagross is way stronger than a plus two Metagross. So, uh, that must be kept in mind. So, I think, yeah, I think that's how it would probably function with crits. Again, please correct me if I'm wrong, but if that's the case, that's even more insane. Because I'm thinking of something like Choice Band Kartana, which, you know, it likes attacking with Leaf, Pla- with, uh, Leaf Blade. Or, uh, which is, you know, a high crit move. Or like a Choice Band T-Tar Stone Edge. I mean, look, T-Tar's not that fast. But it's still going to be critting way too much between a high crit rate move and a, um, and a crit rate that is well above what it would be in uh, other generations. And if you have... Um, 
And Cartana, of course, is really fast. Cartana is going to have something between yeah, 20 and 21 because it's at uh, it's base 108, I think. Yeah. So it's it's going to have a, a roughly a 21% crit rate just with any attack, let alone the high crit leaf play. I don't even know how you would calculate that. Um Actually, if we're going all the way with Gen 1 crit mechanics, then the high crit rate... I mean, maybe this is too obscene to factor in. You know, I don't know if they would keep this in, but the way that, like, Slash, for example. Persian with Slash, you, you need to have an insanely low uh, speed stat, base speed stat for crit moves to not auto crit for example because victory bell is not a very fast pokemon and its razor leaf is an automatic crit you know let alone persian which also auto crits with slash the odds of slash uh from persian or razor leaf from victory bell not critting actually i'm not 100 percent on the victory bell thing uh but it's very it's very high it's like 90, 98, 99 area, but I think it's pretty much guaranteed. But the odds for Persian Slash in particular uh, are the same odds that any move can miss. Because in Gen 1, even 100% accurate Earthquake can miss 1 out of 256 times. You know, no evasion modifiers, no double team, no bright powder. I mean, there are no items, but you know what I mean. No double team, no sand attack, nothing. Just, you can have an earthquake or a body slam, and you can just miss one out of 256 times. That same, uh, that same uh, mechanic gets applied to when Slash doesn't crit. Uh, so, you have to, so I, and that means that something like Leaf Blade Kartana would be an auto crit. And I don't know that. <laughs> That just sounds too horrible, but I guess, I guess if we want to be faithful to what if Gen 1 crits were in other generations, that would apply. That's that's part and parcel of the mechanic, since it is part of the speed stat. So yeah, that that is frightening to think about. And I, I think with things like that, I don't know if you ban auto crit moves then, or, you know, like... Um, like, if, if you can't even use Night Slash Absol because it's just too strong with Choice Band. I mean, that is, that does sound frighteningly so strong. Or actually, you know what would be even ter more terrifying? Uh, the fact that Super Luck is an ability, so that boosts your crit rate even more. Or the other uh, option is, of course, Sniper, which doesn't boost your crit rate, but makes your crits hit even harder. Yeah, uh, I don't even know if you would need, like, focus energy or something, because the crit rate is so high to begin with. Um, yeah, no, that's, uh, it's too, too high, too, too, too guaranteed for such, I mean, even if, you know, gens 2 through 5, it's too much, like, but I think uh, even though in those gens is doubled base power, but even once you lower the... Uh, first of all, if we're saying Gen 1 crits, we do mean doubled base power, right? That is how it works. But even if we decide to be generous and decide once Gen 6 rolls around, it's 50% boost to the uh, crit damage, right? Even then, if it's the rates are this high, that's obscene. Like, think about how fast all the Mega Pokemon are. Think about how Mega Metagross has a crit rate of 21%. Think of it. I don't even want to think about what Mega Aerodactyl's crit rate is. I don't even know what it is. Is it 140? It's It's got to be. Isn't it like 150 or something? Oh my god, I just remember Deoxys speed. I don't even know what Deoxys speed's crit rate would be. Or like Ninjask. Yeah, oh. It's uh, Regieleki, of course. Yeah, I'm sure that would be really fun to play against. You know, it's it, uh, 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 <laughs> terrifying stuff. And, and it's the speedsters are the most obvious candidates, of course, because suddenly it, it's not just about being fast. Usually, because you have to be fast and do right da do the right damage. But now you're just you know basically blowing through the type chart half the time, and it doesn't even matter what you're switching in because it's taking such enormous damage. Suddenly, you know, everything that doesn't have an immunity becomes obscenely hard-hitting. Oh, I just thought of another one. Tinted Lens on Pokemon. Like, Tinted Lens Yan Mega regularly critting. You know, it's like, you can't even resist it anymore, and it's critting all the time? Good lord! Or like a Quiver Dance Venomoth or something. Oh, oh my god. So, yeah, that is... <sighs> frightening to think because again it's not, i i let just uh, to finish that thought it's not just the speedsters i mean look at these lower these lower speed pokemon and how regularly they're critting that's uh, anyway that's pretty much everything 
Uh, if I left something out, please let me know. I'm, I just realized something as fast as, like, Zacian Crown. No, okay, not the Zacian Crown. Wouldn't be obscene anyway. But, like, Ubers, I don't even want... I Actually, I kind of want to see it. I hope someone can make, like, a showdown mod of uh, Gen 1 crits and other gens because... Wow. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one.